I don't pretend to understand the depth of mystery of the human heart and mind, nor to comprehend the apparent random seasons of adversity and joy. I don't pretend to have even the most tenuous grasp on what it means to be fully gracious and forgiving, to effortlessly own a selfless humility forged in the glowing furnace embers of constant refining and purification. I don't pretend to have completely tamed the beast of fierce rage and indignation, deliberately aimed at an undeniably unjust world, nor to have obtained equilibrium on the proverbial tightrope of righteous anger on one side and the hemorrhaging of my own personal self-pity on the other. I don't pretend to stand blameless as I swim against the tide of ignorant, prejudiced opinion toward a shore and a destination that prophetically bears my name. I don't pretend to have exorcised all the demons of a torn and troubled youth, or to have made peace with a so-called care profession that so desperately failed my birth mother and so, so many others since, discarding them and dancing with indignity upon their memory. I don't pretend to want an easy join-the-dots life where my future is all mapped out before me in a simple, grotesque, just-add-water-mix formula, within a land of false harmony, where there is no conflict or struggle, no wrestling to grow into the fullness of who my Papa God has called me to be. I don't pretend to worry about tomorrow, because... I don't worry about tomorrow. I don't pretend to doubt that I am deeply loved by my God because I don't doubt that I am deeply loved by my God. I don't pretend that I need other people to tell me who I am because I don't need I don't pretend that I hear that still, small voice every minute of every day. And I don't pretend that I can walk on water, because right now, at this present time, I can't. But that doesn't mean that I need to give up trying and learning, and I won't. I don't pretend because I don't need to pretend.